All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are Bribe.io, and what do we believe? We believe that open source software is an amazing free tool for business, but the problem is when it comes to support and feature enhancements that you need, you get exactly what you pay for. Well, that was then. This is now. Now you get what you Bribe.io for. In three simple steps, you can place a bribe. You find an issue you have, you place a bribe, the money is held in escrow. You post that on a forum where someone is solving that issue or on your Facebook, get it onto the world. You sit back, relax, sip a cocktail as developers go after your problem fixing it, and then go ahead and claim the reward you have. So you say, why is this a need in the market right now? Well, if you look in the next five years, 50% of software that people acquire is going to be open source. If you look at that out there in the world, bugs in the software, there are 10, over 10 million forums that are addressing bugs. Of those, 1.25 million are open and active. That means five people were looking at these and have commented in the last month. So for those problems, there are going to be 1.3 million developers in the U.S. to take care of those, and they are serving 50 million small businesses that don't have an IT department that could possibly take care of these. So what Bribe.io gives small businesses and businesses in general is a way to have on-call support people to deal with the issues they have with open source software like WordPress, their uh, website may be held on to, or some of the other back-end supports. And what do developers get? Well, developers are going to have an awesome way to get a little bit of money and incentive for the open source projects they're already working on, and they also have this opportunity for a really big payout because there's a crowdfunding aspect of more people going after a single project where they can have a really nice payout for their efforts. So right now we're actually going over, this is a live demo, uh, we filmed it just because of the Wi-Fi. There's the home page. These are actually bribes we have listed now. People have put up money in bribes already. That is locked down. He's going through them. This is uh, one that's actually up, so it's hundred dollars for a particular solution. Um, and now he's going. That was claimed by. Now he's going to post a bribe. My favorite thing about post a bribe is because we are bribe.com. When you post a bribe, you can post a strong arm bribe and say you're really mad, or you can sweet talk one. I'm, I'm happy. Can you please do this for me? We're giving it a little bit of character. All right. So the results in the last two days. This all came in the last two days. So what happened? We ranked three on Hacker News, right? We got this out. We tweeted. It was number three on Hacker. 5,000 people visited our landing page, which is pretty impressive. Of those 450 people signed up, they gave us our email. We know who they are. They're going to get notified when we officially launch. Uh, we did launch a private beta. That's how we did get those funders up front. And finally, we have $950 in current uh, bribes out. So that's our revenue already, $950 under management. So we look at our revenue amount of 10% surcharge on all bribes, and then we're sitting that money in escrow so that it's there. We have that trust, so we're going to be grabbing 1% or 2% interest. It's not a lot, but it helps. If you look at a three-year projection, our goal is 1 million users, 2 million in revenue. How do we get to that revenue? Well, if 6% of users actually offer a bribe, which is a small amount, and the bribe average is $35, we're going to hit that. So cost of doing business is what we're looking at. Transaction costs, that's obviously the service providers that are handling the money. We've got to do marketing. We have to go get this out there. That's mostly seed money, and then admins. So when we look at our competitors, Bounty Source does this, and Bounty Source does this well. They have 13,000 members. They were launched in 2012, and they've got over a million dollars uh, out there for bribes. What they don't do, they just went after the developer-to-developer -developer market. They didn't go after businesses. They didn't get that money and that interest out there. So it's a very niche market that's all linked to GitHub. So we think we can really improve upon that by bringing this to the WordPress world and other places. So in our surveys, 80% said they would use us. 66% said they were likely to pay to fix a bug. If you were going to fix one, you said you'd pay $77, and if you were going to go ahead and fix one, you said you would want $144. Questions? And the team. Judges, your three minutes starts now. Okay, so you mentioned what your competitor does. What happens if they copy you? What would, how would you differentiate yourself? I guess so. If they want to. They are really tied to API. So if they went after us, we really have to own. Um, we have to own who we are and that that, that personality we're bringing. We're bribe.io, right? So we're owning the fact that when you bribe, you're either mad or you're happy. We're building a community that's more than just just the service. We hope. They're also tied very very directly to GitHub, and we're completely platform agnostic. You can use us with a closed issue tracker, maybe internal software. You can still leverage us. How do you handle the subjectivity of claiming a bribe? When you claim a bribe, literally what you put out goes to the person that said, this is what I want, and they say this is good or not. Or if it's a group, the group makes that decision. If there's an arbitration, what we do, we took the Better Business Bureau model, where we will then arbitrate and make the decision between the two parties. But we went right around with the Better Business Bureau model. So if you get three, it's substantially the same answer in, in a half hour. Is it first come, first serve, it's a race. There's no registration, there's no deal registration. 
No, there's there's no registration. You can uh, you can post it. You can post questions or say that you're working on it. So if some five people are working on it, you may say, you know, it's been sitting there too long. Somebody's going to beat me to this. I don't want to go after it. But first come, first serve. Do they have access to the person who wants to whatever? Through a comments page that you kind of quickly saw there. Yes. Is there a risk that what somebody provides as a solution, somebody else owns, so that they're providing something they don't own, they have access to, and now you? You know, basically, you've got a conduit for infringement. But that's why we run around open source, so the answer should be no. But even the, even the, I know it's open source, but even the solution that you're being asked to provide would also be necessarily open source. I mean, that's that type of abuse can even happen. Someone could post the closed source in the on GitHub, and we have to deal with it user by user. If we notice someone's doing that, um, we can nip it in the bud and, and not let them use our service. Great. So talk to us about. The, the, the money, did you actually get that money? There's currently $950 that any developer here could go on, solve those, and claim it today. So it's money that's offered, it's not money that's exchanged hands. We have an agreement with um, one of the top projects from our competitor who's currently mirrored them over there. So we didn't, so it's it's a weird arrangement. Uh, but right now, if someone went on and fixed all of those bugs, we'd pay them out $950. Before you pay. Yeah, so it's all in escrow. So that's part of our model. That's how it sits there. And there's also a trust factor, right? So the guy can't put this up and then back out. The money is with bribe.io, ready to be given out as soon as both parties agree. Can you talk a little bit about validating this with uh, developers and with the business community? Yeah, or if you want to go. Yeah, so we, uh, there's a lot of comments on Hacker News and Reddit. Uh, everyone was really excited. Uh, really, really great engagement on Twitter and social media. Everyone seems pumped to use it. We talked to a lot of people in-depthly, um, both developers, contractors. Um, everyone seems really, really excited to get on board. Uh, you have a bug and it takes you a week to fix, or you can post a $100 bribe. It makes a lot more sense to post the bribe. Cool. All the time we got. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.